We have not one but two potential tropical storms that could develop in the next 48 hours, according to the National Hurricane Center. I'm tracking both of them, but we really only need to be concerned about one in terms of possible impact to the United States over the coming days, and that's Invest 92 in the Western Caribbean. This is the satellite analysis as of Wednesday afternoon, and there was a lot of thunderstorm activity uh, developing near the uh, center of this area of low pressure. It really doesn't have a center just yet, but instead of little small clusters of storms, we developed one large area of convection. All that red and orange indicates some colder cloud tops. Also of note is the outflow is in the upper levels that you can see the cirrus clouds rotating in a clockwise motion around the system. So it does appear to be getting better organized. Here is the very latest on Invest 92. We have a high chance from the National Hurricane Center of development uh, by Friday. We're going to know a whole lot more on Thursday when the hurricane hunters investigate. They're actually tasked with five flights. But regardless of the outcome of this system, we're expecting some heavy rain across parts of Florida Friday and Saturday, especially the northern third of the state. Here are the potential storm tracks. This is an early look at the model data. We're going to get better runs on this as a center of circulation becomes more defined. Uh, it will likely stay well west of the Sunshine State, maybe possibly influencing the panhandle directly, but I'm not really concerned about the exact track just yet. Here's wind shear. It's absent from the system on Friday. That's why there could be some development, but then Friday night into Saturday, if it were trying to move north, it would encounter some stronger wind shear because of an upper level trough and a cold front sliding across the south central United States. So we're not talking about a very strong system here at all. Of course, the biggest concern will be the rain, and there will be a very large moisture shield with this on the eastern side, and it's going to get pulled across the northern and central part of the state Friday into Saturday. It really stretched out because of a cold front here, lingering deep amounts of moisture expected right through Sunday. So there will be some heavy rain, especially north of the I-4 corridor. Here's a look at Rain Tracker uh, from NOAA. This is the projection of five-day rainfall amounts and all that orange there in Georgia and the panhandle, five or more inches, three to five inches expected up near the Florida-Georgia border, and two to four north of I-4 here in north central Florida. Some heavy rain at times for South Florida as well. One more area of interest that we will keep an eye on, Invest 93. This will likely become a storm quickly on Thursday. It has a high chance of development. It's going to move on a west-northwestern track over some cooler water. So even though it may develop quickly, the chances of it becoming very strong across the central Atlantic, fairly low. But of course, we'll keep a close eye on that in several days as it gets closer uh, to the western part of the Big Pond. Stay with uh, Florida Public Radio and WRUF Weather for constant updates.